Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers again. So uh, as you guys know, I repowered this DYT 4000 yesterday. It was the last part of my uh, multi-part series. It was uh, episode 6. And basically I got the uh, 14 horsepower Briggs Opposed Twin uh, engine working, running really well too. And uh, as we all know, we were going to have issues with the uh, electronic PTO. Apparently, I did a lot of research on it, and my uh, friend Kyle Biddle, who is uh, Omega Doomship over on uh, Instagram, he's a uh, certified Briggs & Stratton uh, engine tech, and so he knows all about that stuff. So uh, when I posted my Instagram about my problem with the PTO, he told me that uh, the stator that I have on here is a dual circuit stator. They have a lot of different stators, but this stator is the one with the red and black wire. The red wire has a diode on there which uh, allows the DC voltage to come out at around 12, 13 uh, volts. Well, uh, the amps are only 5 amps for that circuit and uh, so that's not going to be enough um, power to generate enough electricity into the battery to maintain the clutch on the PTO. So he told me that I need a um, 13 to 16 amp stator, which Briggs makes for their garden tractors, right? And so that one is easily identifiable because the stator looks almost exactly the same. However, instead of a red and black wire, it's two black wires that run out. Those two black wires go into a voltage regulator that has two wire input and one wire coming out after it's been regulated. And that wire one wire that comes out of the voltage regulator connects to the uh, wire that I have right now on the red one. So I ordered one last night, a used one. It was off of a John Deere uh, GT Garden Tractor 235. That one had an electric PTO on it and it's rated at 15 amps. So I ordered that for 15 bucks. You know, I'll try that. I have a voltage regulator too for that. So I'm going to try that. Uh, in the interim though, I've got... Uh, I charged the battery up. Uh, people said that maybe because uh, the battery was really weak, it wasn't enough juice to, you know, allow the PTO to keep running, right? So, uh, as you saw, the minute I pulled on the uh, switch, the PTO switch, engine died. But I know the switch engages because you can hear the click that it engages, right? Then when I push the PTO switch back down again, you can hear it unclick, you know what I mean? So, uh, I know the PTO switch works, I know it engages, it's just not enough juice to keep it going, you know what I mean? But, uh, so I charged the battery overnight on a trickle, so it's, I just did the voltage thing, it's like 13.3 volts on that battery. That battery is a 275 CCA, cold crank amps, so the battery is, you know, strong enough, you know? So I just, you know, charged it. I'm going to see if it, the PTO works. You know, with a with a fully charged battery. It's really cold today, guys. It's like 19 degrees. Got the fuel shut off on. You know, you really don't need a fuel shut off for this model because it's uh, has a fuel pump. Gas won't go into the carburetor. With the, with the fuel pumps not running. Need some more warming up. Maybe I won't have enough juice for the PTO. Strange why 
doesn't start now, man. I'm using it all trying to start this damn thing. So I had the fuel shut off, off. I turned it off, thinking that I was turning it on. Anyway, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the PTO now. charge a battery again. So I just recharged the battery for like uh, four or five hours and my friend Doug over at Doug's Mowers and Blowers told me that uh, I should keep the battery charger on there to make sure the battery is really strong and then try to PTO. So I'm going to try it now. something else well the only way I'm gonna find out is wait until I get that better stator but uh, I don't know that battery's charged pretty uh, pretty long fully charged battery along with the you know battery chargers connected to it you know what I mean so uh, it just doesn't seem like it uh, wants to turn today is just too cold to do anything so I'm going to have to cut it and uh, maybe crawl underneath and uh, see if uh, the crankshaft nut is too hard. Just a quick update on this thing. So uh, I don't think it's going to be a stator problem. Uh, I think that I've got basically it, that engine shaft, while it is the same diameter and shaft and the length of it is about the same, uh, I think it's off by half an inch or something like that. Well, I read up on some stuff, and they said that if uh, if you have a 1 16th uh, difference in the way it's supposed to be gapped from the crankshaft to the area where the keyway is on the PTO, it's not going to work. As a matter of fact, you could damage stuff. So I'm starting to believe that that PTO is not going to work on this engine without a despacer. 
a despacer fills the 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 uh, space that you normally would have had on the original crankshaft, which was a maybe a tad bit longer, you know. And that little bit of difference can make the difference between the PTO working or not. So uh, I don't think it's the horsepower of the engine or the amperage of the battery and the electric current that goes to the electronic PTO. It engages and disengages the PTO fine. But I think because the crankshaft, where it sits and seats inside the electronic PTO, is the issue of it not turning and stalling the engine when I engage the PTO. So that's what I think the problem is. Um, I Unless I get some more advice from you guys... I really don't know what else to do with this thing other than park it in the backyard, you know, uh, for now until I figure out what, how to get the PTO running. It would be a shame if I just turned this into a mud mower without a PTO, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, without the uh, a mower deck. The mower deck, as you guys know, is in excellent condition. So it would be a shame if this thing didn't work with the uh, mower deck. But, you know, this is a nice tractor, though, you know. I could just, like, this could be my hauling tractor. I could just drive this tractor around town just for fun. Have a trailer, hook up a trailer to it, and that would be it, you know? But then... Hey, guys, support my channel. Buy a sticker. Got the bumper sticker, too. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Follow my Instagram, at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, at MowersBlowers.com.